<laughs> Fuck it, I don't care anymore. <clears throat> Yo, what's going on, guys? I didn't. What's going on, guys? I am merely a human. Seventh one of the laboratory back at it again with some more innovative, great content. All right, today we're taking it back to the whiteboard. Check it out. So, on this whiteboard, what I do have on here listed is obviously a slogan I am to die by, and that is to be grateful, man. Um, secondly, a list of tasks that I need to take off, and then as I go about them, I erase them. And then, thirdly, what I'm currently trying to master and will really remember in my brain, and that's this structure. And then behind that, or underneath it, sorry, is uh, space to just write. Um, to write, erase, write, erase. And so what this is, is this allows me to kind of govern my task for the day and visualize them. And this allows me to uh, to put on here a concept in which I am trying to learn. And so what's funny is, I'm like, dude, this would actually be a very good YouTube video. Um, or YouTube series, rather. Or, you know, I don't want to say YouTube series, but that's really what it is. It's a series. Um, <laughs> so, here it is. It's the whiteboard sesh. So, check it out. Today's concept. Jesus Christ. I'm going to erase all of this stuff right here okay so with that being said in today's topic let's just get right into it that was a long ass fucking intro butchered it who cares moving on today's concept is about how to take action how to reflect and how to learn in a cycle in which it benefits the entire system that is your perception and your consciousness so what you don't want to do is work, 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 work until burnout because proven research has shown that focusness, literally, uh, it, focusness rapidly, focusness rapidly loses its effectiveness over the course of time. So, what does that mean? In the span of an hour of super laser dot focus, you can get a lot more done in that one hour than let's say two out two to three to four hours. And so it's something to think about. So you want to take action, but you don't just want to take action. So by reflecting, you're able to then take a step back and then see your thoughts, okay, and then take a step forward. Because I'm sure this has happened in a direction in your life where you just keep, keep, keep on going in the same direction and the next thing you know, right, you're completely off track due to you just going in the same direction that you were going in. So by simply recalibrating your mind, you're able to then bounce to the next thing. So it's all about cycling through these, uh, these mindsets, these mentalities, these, uh, I don't know, this level of awareness because you're broader in different things, whether we're soaking in info or doing we're applying info right or we're doing a mix of transitioning and so I actually think that reflection is that transitioning phase um, and so reflecting could be playful it could be drawing it could be poetry it could be gaming or whatever it is whatever it is that is a way for you to simply let go and think that is a level that is a way to reflect and it's something to know so that could be skateboarding as well that could be playing a violin like i don't know like whatever puts you in the zone to mellow you out to calm down that's fun that gets you not so focused and wrapped up on life you want to incorporate that into a habit of the day so that's all relates really back to habits and routines i'm trying to work on being consistent and on this whiteboard there's actually a whole uh little thing to kind of keep myself visually focused on it and that is to be focused to be consistent and um, i forgot what was the other thing but uh yes so the point is you want to first take action so i'm going to put that on the whiteboard take action and then reflect right and then right after that is guess what learning and then what comes after that what do you think i'm gonna give you five seven seconds 
okay? What comes after that is reflection. So you want to go from action or learning to reflecting and then to action or learning. So you don't want to just be working, 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 working because your effectiveness will curve significantly. What you want to do is work, reflect, recalibrate your senses, right? Breathe, whatever the fuck it is, for like 5-10 minutes or 30 minutes, even hours, even who cares. And then roll that energy then into your next phase. And for me, what, what, what works best is learning. So I'm constantly taking action. I'm constantly reflecting on my actions and I'm constantly learning and then after that I'm then reflecting again and then applying new things to learn or new things to try out to test and then with those uh, with those results from the action I then run that feedback back into the system to be reflected on and then I learn something new and then I apply it and then it rolls it rolls it rolls so what you see here is actually a stack of books as well now I read a few pages a day of each book and they're in various things and so what you don't want to do is attempt to absorb as much info as possible because our brain simply won't retain it if we don't want to really that simple so another um, lesson in this whole video is how to retain info a lot better make it playful I actually went through all of high school without studying one fucking time. I swear to God, that is insane, right? I did this because I mastered all the concepts I wanted to learn. And all the ones I simply could, for the life of me, couldn't fucking care about. I just couldn't pick up on them and it, it is what it is. But, um, yeah, so you want to make learning as playful as possible and you want to space it out. Because you don't just want to absorb, 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 absorb again because the effectiveness curves over time. There's a term for that, by the way, the 80-20 rule. You get 80% of the work done in 20% of the effort slash time. Something to take note of. So, okay, so with spaced repetition, what is that? Well, it's like practicing flashcards. Real simple, you know? And it's really spacing out the info so you don't just attempt to absorb it all at once because it's not going to happen. Unless you have that kind of memory, then salute to you. But if you know that, then you shouldn't even, you wouldn't even be wondering, <laughs> wondering um, what this has to do with you, you know? So, yeah, so again, so I space out my learning, right? So I learn, reflect, take action. So I get some work done, reflect. And then I learn and then I take some more action. So I'm constantly going through, I've created, I've successfully created a loop in which I could try out new things, gather up the feedback, recalibrate my senses and my thoughts and my ideas and attack and plan it out all over again. And so I'm able to then do that multiple times a day. And so in, in that cycle, um... I have a very unique lifestyle due to the design of it by choice, by what I wanted with my life, you know, because you don't want to work until you die. That's something that you might definitely probably will regret on your deathbed, right? Is working and not spending, is working a lot more than you should and spending a lot less than you should as well, right? So anyways and um, I'm able to get my work day completed by let's say 9 10 a.m. right and with that being said after that point in time I'm then able to delegate my time a lot more so with that comes a lot of more BS right a lot more challenges it's a territory in itself everything has its own territories everything has its own pros and cons and what managing and working for myself and what that showed me was I need to be a lot more responsible for my actions and my time and what I do and how I spend my time. Um, as in, if I'm jerking off or playing games versus getting something done or working on something meaningful like this, this is a meaningful thing. This inherently or this off the rip isn't going to provide me with any form of value besides a few clicks and that just makes me wow, like that makes my brain feel good because people are liking my work. Like who cares? But the point is, you know, I have all this time to just give and so that's exactly what i'm doing i'm giving a lot more um i have my cup is constantly overfilling so these ideas these thoughts are just constantly coming into my head and i i need to use them properly 
or um, you know that's me being ungrateful for my gifts and these is what it is so with that being said uh, that concludes this first episode of the whiteboard sesh or whatever the series is yet to be called i have yet to use this microphone hopefully it does work and it is proper and uh, catch me on the next episode any suggestions is recommended it helps the show the series grow and become better it helps me behind the camera get better as well and on top of that you could support by commenting liking sharing following of course and purchasing some things too as well and uh yeah so with that being said take care god bless and have a wonderful day um it's currently may 2024 and uh we only have like six seven months left of the year and so it's up to us to spend it wisely because before you know it we are dead <laughs>